Hi, my name is Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, this is the battle of the metallic lipsticks. And I've got two to show you right here. I have the Urban Decay Vice Metalized Lipstick and Conspiracy. And I've got the new MAC metal, uh, Metallic Lipstick in Hades Fire. I'll start out with swatching them for you. Now, both of these are completely different colors, but they are the same price. They are $17. But the question is, is which one is better? That is Hades Fire. And this is Conspiracy. Two completely different shades. So, to me, it's a matter of it, what is the difference between the two as far as one swipe how much do you need to go ahead and um, use to build it up things like that I'm gonna do is zoom you in closer to my face I'm gonna start with conspiracy so let's go ahead and see what it's like with one swipe Let's go ahead and keep going. It is pigmented, but not. There we go. And of course, I'm not using a lip liner. I absolutely love this shade. It is very comfortable to wear. I'm not, um, it's very creamy and you don't have, it doesn't feel, even though it's metalized, you don't feel any chunks of glitter or anything like that. So if you are looking for it, I do know, like I said, it does take a while for it to build up to get to a nice opaque color and for it to not look patchy. And let me go ahead and wipe this off and we will go into the next shade. Okay, I went ahead and I took off all of my lipstick and we are gonna go into Hades Fire by MAC. I have not tried this on and I'm really excited to. Well, let me tell you, MAC is my all time favorite. If you do one swipe, if you can see, it is patchy. However, I do have to say you don't have to build it up like you do the Urban Decay one. I don't feel as though that you need to build this up as much as the Urban Decay Vice uh, metalized lipsticks. However, what I can immediately tell the difference is when you go like this, it does feel a little bit gritty, whereas the Urban Decay one, it's really creamy and you don't feel like any chunks of glitter. I'm not saying that it's bothersome and it's, and but you do feel a little bit something like like there's little flecks of glitter in there but it's not something that would I think drive you crazy but I think what potentially might happen with this as it wears throughout the day that it will fade to glitter I'm not sure you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a wear test because I cannot officially make a decision just based on this. I'm going to do a four hour window right now. As you can see, it is 920. Hold on. It is 923. So I will go ahead and I will check in in four hours and we will see where this is. See if I need to reapply. I think that that's the best route to go. I think four hours would give us enough time to figure it out and then I will move on to the Urban Decay. 
Hi, I'm back. It is now 1.20, so it has been four hours. Let me kind of zoom you in on what's going on here. It has, see, the glitter? It has done exactly what I thought it would do. Because of the chunks of glitter, and as the lipstick is wearing off, you actually feel the chunks of glitter. That's exactly what is left. If you do not reapply, it's the chunks of glitter. So, for that reason alone, I have to say the MAC lipsticks, unless you continuously reapply it, I would go with the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. So, I'm not going to even... I'm not going to even do the wear test on the Urban Decay lipsticks because I just, I think this is proof enough because like I said, this has got, this has got the texture of glitter on your face, on your lips and it's not creamy like the Urban Decay. So if you are looking for a metallic lipstick, just a regular lipstick, I would say 100% the winner is Urban Decay. Now, like I said, if you still want me to go ahead and do a wear test on this, I will. I'll go ahead and I will link somewhere towards the end of the video my review on the Color Rocker lipsticks. If you are curious about that with my opinions and everything, I compare them to other MAC lipsticks. I'm going to be upfront and honest with you. And I wasn't going to say this in the beginning of the video. I'm not a fan of this formula. I like the Revolution lipsticks better. So for me to say that Urban Decay wins is a big step for me. And it even shocks myself. So that's all I have for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any other ideas for videos, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments, and if you want to go ahead and reach me, all my information will be in the description box below. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.